Hi everyone! Specifically, hi Randan! Hi Amy! Thanks for requesting this video. So today I'm going to be doing a very simple workout for you guys. So please follow along. Um, we'll be mostly on the mat so you don't have to wear shoes or anything like that. So let's get started. Okay, start on your fours. Tabletop position, wrist under your shoulders, knees right below your hips and your ankles right behind your knee. Tuck your toes under. And we'll start with a warm up here. So extend your right arm out and left leg back. Flex your foot. Feel the stretch here. And then exhale. Switch left arm out, right foot back, foot flexed. And then we'll keep alternating here. Look down in between your hands. See how your body is working to keep you balanced. All right, meet me back in a neutral tabletop. And what we're gonna do is again, we're gonna extend our right arm out, left leg back, and this time we're gonna crunch in the middle. So bring your elbow towards your knee, meeting in the center. Feel free to keep your foot, other foot tucked in or if it feels better to let it relax. This would give you more stability, having your toes tucked under. You should feel your left arm getting a little tired. Feel your body warming up a bit. All right, let's switch sides. So left arm out, right foot back, and then crunch in the middle. Exhale as you extend, inhale as you crunch. So inhale, crunch, exhale, elongate. A few more. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Now, next. We're going to be doing regular crunches, but since I am pregnant, I won't be doing that many. So until I say stop, you don't stop, okay? So for regular crunches, you're on your mat, on your back, knees bent, hands behind your head for support, and you're going to lift up and down. Imagine there is a ball like right under your neck, between your chin and your chest. Find a gaze, find a point in the ceiling or somewhere forward to look at. All right, give me 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice. Okay, so still on your mat. Now, keeping your legs as they are from like the crunch position, all you're gonna do now is just lift and then drop it down. Point your toes on the mat. So lift your thighs towards your chest with your hips using your lower abs here. And then just tap it down. So keep going, even though if I stop. So give me 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now, again, on your back, on the mat, 
This time you're going to combine the crunch and the leg coming up towards you. So you're going to do this using the entire abs to come up and down. Up and down. Keep going. A few more. At this point, you should really feel your abs working there and getting really tight. Just keep going until I say stop. Give me six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, rest. Extend your legs out. And reach your arms up overhead and give your body a long stretch here. All right, now take your hands, place it under your butt for support, and we're gonna do leg raises. So lift your legs up and down. And as you come down, keep your feet hovered off the floor so it's not touching the floor. It's just hovered right over it like two inches. Up and down. All right, you keep going. Give me 10 of these. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right. So we're gonna do that round again. So starting on your fours, extend your right arm out, left leg back, and then crunch in the middle. Your heart rate should be higher now. Remember to breathe. Exhale, extend. All right, three more on this side. Three, two, one. All right, now the other side. Left arm out, right leg back. And then meet in the middle. Elbow towards the knee. Few more, keep going. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now, on your back, on the mat. Crunches. So I won't be doing it. <laughs> I'm getting quite big. <laughs> so crunches again. All right, start. Exhale on your way up. Remember, imagine a ball right under your neck, I mean, right under your chin and your chest, and you're really lifting using the upper abs here. It doesn't have to be a big crunch, just as long as you feel like your upper abs uh, tightening to bring your upper body up. All right, give me six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, relax your head, and again, this time, Keeping your legs as they are from the crunch position. You're gonna bring your thigh up and down. This is a reverse crunch and it works the lower abs. So bring them up and point. Keep going, keep going. Remember to breathe. Place your hands over your lower abs and really feel it working to bring your legs up. 
few more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now this time we're gonna combine both the crunch with the leg going up to meet you in the middle. So like this, crunch, crunch. You don't have to go fast. It actually helps to go slow here so you can really get a sense of how your abs are working. You should feel like your upper abs and your lower abs engaged and tightened to bring your body up towards the middle. All right, keep going. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, last exercise of this round. Take your hand, place it under your butt hair, extend your legs, and bring your legs up to 90 degrees and down. Inhale, bring your legs up, exhale, down. Up and down. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. Do a few more of these. Give me five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, good job. All right, next we're gonna work on our butt. But it'll be really isolated glutes workout. Glutes is another word for the butt muscles. So come on to a tabletop position on your fours. We're almost done here, it's a quick workout. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna raise your right leg up. Your Feet, your foot is flexed. All right, try, feel it, feel it here for a moment. Tuck in your left toes and feel your butt muscle engaged here as you bring your leg up. It doesn't have to be exactly 90 degrees. It can be like a little bit further out. As long as on your way down, coming up, you're leading with your heel. So let's try that. Bring your right foot up, knees bent, and you're just kicking, leading with the heel. Find your balance here. Give me five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right, now left foot. Let's just extend our left foot up here for a second and really squeeze your glutes muscle, squeeze your butt at the top. You can really feel it just holding it here, right? So now you're going to bring it down and up. Lead from the heel as you kick up. And breathe out, exhale as you kick up. A few more. Five, four, Three, two, one. And you can actually feel your, your right side burning as you use your left side. So um, now back to the right side. So we're gonna do this again. Kick up, down, up, down. Try to keep your back elongated. So try to look for a uh, Look ahead, but downwards. Keep 
Find a point that's a few feet forward from where your hands are. A few more. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> you try talking and doing it. <laughs> okay, other side, left side. Tuck your right toes under. Kick up, down, up, down. Keep going, kick, kick, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, um, sit back for a bit, grab a sip of water if you have to. We're still gonna be working on our butt, okay? We're almost done, I swear, we're almost done. Okay, you ready? This time, instead of bending our knee here, so just kick back, your, kick your right foot back, extend your full leg, what you're going to do is kick, kick diagonally up towards the right. So instead of going straight up, it's going to be slightly out past your right hip. And then as you come down, bring it towards the left side. So you're kicking out towards the right and down towards the left in a diagonal line. It doesn't have to be super far out to the right. It's just as long as you feel where the tension hits in the butt. <laughs> and then you bring it back down to the other side. Up, down, up, down, up and out, down. Here your feet is pointed. You're not really leading from the heel. This works the outer area of your butt muscle. Few more, two more. <laughs> two, one. Whew. Even your the leg that you're not moving is getting a workout. All right. The other side now, so left. First, kick it out, right toes are tucked under, and have it come up past your left hip, and then down. So it's up and out, down. Up, down, diagonally. Far left, over to the right. You can experiment with this for a bit, see how far your leg needs to be for you to really feel it in your butt. <laughs> like far out this way, uh, look. Try to find a spot that re really helps you target that muscle out on the side of your butt. Breathe, up, down. Inhale up, exhale down. A few more. Two, <laughs> one. <sighs> okay. <sighs> that was tiring. All right. Um, I think that was quite a lot. But last exercise, last exercise here. What we're going to do is the uh, fire hydrant. So um, I'm going to face you just so that you can see the ankle. So you're going to, with your knees bent, instead of kicking up and out, you're going to bring it out to the side. All right? I'll, I'll do it, um, I'll do it this way right now so you can see it. All right, we'll do 10 on this side. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, 
one. Nice. Oh my god, my butt is burning. <laughs> okay, now um, your left side, or whichever side is the other side for you. Okay. So, ready? Tuck your right toes under. Lift, down. Lift, down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well, if you feel like it, you can redo that set again. All right, with the knees bent, and then coming down. Two, three. All right, actually, let's just do it together, okay? We're gonna do three of each, so three with the knees bent like this, three with the diagonal, and three with the fire hydrant like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. I think that's why they call it that. All right, so ready? We'll start with our right leg. One, two, three, extend. One, two, three, one, two, three. Other side, left side, knees bent, up, two, three, extend, one, two, three, knees bent, one, two, three. All right, let's stretch. And this concludes our workout today. So on your back here, bring your knees towards your chest. Roll on your back side to side for a few seconds. Place your feet back onto your mat. Knees bent. Now take your right ankle and place it over your left. Take your hands and reach behind the left thigh here. Interlace your fingers and pull your left thigh towards your chest into a figure four stretch. Feel that stretch in your right glutes, your hips. Good job, I hope you guys follow along <laughs> so I'm not just counting into thin air. <sighs> okay, release, and the other side, left ankle over right thigh. Reach behind the right thigh and pull it in towards your chest. And feel free to use this left elbow here to push your inner knee, your inner thigh away so you can really feel that extra tension of pulling your left leg, pu pulling, pushing this leg back and bringing it forward for a deeper stretch. Breathe, inhale, exhale. You guys did amazing. Wherever you are in your fitness level, you are perfect. You are perfect, okay? You did it. All right, let's come to a seated position. Soles together and then lean forward here and put, use your elbows to push your thighs gently down. Stretch your inner thighs here. Take your right leg out. Reach your arms up overhead. Turn towards that right foot and hinge forward with a straight back to stretch your hamstrings. It doesn't have to be that far out, wherever feels good to you. Keep your foot flexed. Feel my breaths. And 
the other side, send your right leg in, extend your left foot out, flex your foot, inhale your arms up, turn towards that foot, and exhale with a straight back, hinge forward. Breathe, admire your foot, feel that stretch that your body, your body totally needs. Exhale deeper. Few more breaths. All right, give yourself a round of applause. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to make more of these. Let me know in the comments below if what's helpful. Um, how I can instruct better, um, what worked, what didn't work. I would love to hear it. So um, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful Friday and a good weekend. Bye.